At long last, here we are at the very last challenge that is available to us in the Binding of Isaac Repentance. I am super excited because today we're playing as the one boy, Tainted Jacob, who can repent. Welcome back to Repentance. We have been given a red key and no map. You have to forge your own path in this one. You have to make it all the way to Mother. Although, in technicality, Mother may or may not show up to you. Because, yes, each of these floors is as big as you can make them, but they are also um, <laughs> the amal an amalgam of the kinds of floors in the area. Like, you see Cellar every now and then. We may even head into Dross, the burning basement here. It'll be swapping between these two a bunch. Uh, swapping between, like, the, the old path and the main path, depending on where you go. And the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that, you know, Red Key is in your path, your pocket item slot. But you don't have Anima Solar. And you may also notice that Tainted Esau, or Dark Esau, is nowhere to be seen. That's to be seen in a few moments' time. Now, for the unlock of this challenge, the thing that you get for beating this challenge is the Reverse Hermit card. Reverse Hermit actually sells every item that's in the room. Think of it like how would you normally use something like the D20. You see a bunch of things laying down in the room, and you decide, hey, I want to sell them. I want to get money equivalent of what they are worth in shops. You use the Hermit, and then you get everything converted into those coins. It's a simple mechanic and probably worth it in some instances if you really need to look out for some cards. So yes, if this is a, a kind of a big exploration of how the red rooms function. You get to see like this unique rooms that show up here and there and you also get to see like how they form because some of these can't form. You can't sometimes max out on rooms. However, room generation in this challenge is whack. As you can see, there is a boss door on every single side of this room. That's also why you get given the dance key at the same time, so you can just kind of skip through some things and head to areas that may be needed, perhaps getting to the boss fights. So since these rooms are considered like XL floors, you can find item rooms in this challenge, you can also find shops in this challenge. You just have to find them, which makes map items so, so valuable in this challenge. Especially when it gets down to the time of finding, well, finding out what the red key does when you get low down. And you don't even have to be out of combat to use the red key. You can just kind of unlock a door whenever you see fit. Which I'm going to do that. I'm going to head straight down. Maybe straight down is the path to go. If not, then it's not. The key is to just try and find places to go. Stonies! My, my. Also you. These freaks over here. You can just kind of skip a room sometimes. So yeah, like we're here right now at the very end of all of the challenges. It's kind of strange to think about, isn't it? Just... We do all 43 before this. Now we're on the 44th. It's kind of an odd number to end on, I swear. But it's still interesting challenge to end off on. It's a very unique take on the mechanic of these here rooms being completely red and secret. Like, the map can be as big as possible. I believe the actual map grids are 13 by 13. That's like the maximum possible generation you can get. So that also includes uh, double-sized rooms. However, double-sized rooms are not done in this challenge, I'm pretty sure. I remember that I actually had the red key going into Delirium once, or going into the Void. I was able to use that for a bit. Like, you'll know when you've hit the, the edge of the boundary, when there's no red room silhouette that shows up on one of the boundaries. Like, we're here at the very bottom of the map, so nothing can go below this. If you were actually doing this in a normal run, and they showed up to you, um, you can go past the 13 by 13 grid, 
However, the moment you do, you get immediately sent to the Iron Arrow room. So, it's a risk and reward thing, but you have to figure out how you're even getting all those charges. It's something else. There's a second boss fight. I technically only need to do one boss fight out of the few. But, I also really want some items, because I only have the, lo the, the, the locker from the coin. That's all I have at the moment. And item rooms do show up, so I want to actually get some item rooms. Hello, Gemini. You're a rare treat, sometimes. At least I know where the boss rooms are, so I can leave at any time. And also, I, th I think Devil Room rules still apply, even though this is an um, XL in, in, like, spirit. Like, the Devil Rooms don't apply right now, but once you get down to the second floor of the cave amalgamation, that's when they start showing up. We'll find out soon enough. I mean, I should have found out already, because I've already done the challenge. And prior times I've done the challenge, I've managed to find, like, the treasure map at a shop, and it was just glorious to see it. Knowing where these actual parts of the floor that normally generate show up in, and where to actually travel to. Save is good. Extra damage is always good to have. And there's nothing around here. Maybe this way. No, no, not at all. It's also one of those guys. Now, I hinted at this beforehand, but this is a strategy that I figured out when I was last doing this challenge on the Switch. This is a thing that you may or may not know about, and it may prove to be a very beneficial thing in this challenge based on how you can't find where most of the normal rooms are. Cursed Eye. Cursed Eye has its very, very, very fun effect of, uh, you know, teleporting you on damage if you're charging while you're doing the charge, yeah? You take the damage, you do the charge, it teleports you. The teleport only sends you to valid rooms. They will never send you to a red room. So, you can use this information in the sense that, hey, you can just take damage and find yourself in areas where the valid rooms are, so you don't have to use a red key in this challenge all that much, and cause what's already been caused whilst this has been going on, multiple dark source. The more you use a red key after 20 uses, more of them show up. And yes, the usual rules of Tainted Esau, or Dark Esau, still applies. You, take, you touch him, you become the lost. You kind of deal with that as, maybe, I just put a bomb down for that reason. There's an item room, finally. I want to see what's in there. I think, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but yeah, I was incorrect. My earrings is cool, I like my earrings. I'm going to take... There's a tiny little shout. You, like, larynx charges when you take damage as well as normally by rooms. And it's just a, a, a big old shouty shout when you need it. That's probably going to be worth it for me. So yeah, um, the more you use the red key to explore, the more dark keys will show up for you. So be mindful of yourself. I feel like it's better than fit enough. You also have to remember that you can still use dark keys or strats to, you know, destroy bosses quickly, if you are able to do that. <laughs> screw it, screw it, I don't even need it. Uh, actually, that, that, hmm. I'm curious. Well, that even, it did not. There was absolutely nothing to gain from that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So I'll just take this and leave. Easy enough. You only have four floors to go to. The first, the second, the third, and the fourth. That's all you do for this challenge. It's a very short challenge in that. Hardly even that of kind of, um, uh, you know, something like the... Yeah, it's, it's technically much shorter than all the base game challenges that only go down to mom. Because you're only doing four floors. But you still have to go down all the four floors. Gotta feed a... Oh, look at this, we're in the mine. Ah, more, more yelling. I'm gonna larynx in a minute. Ouch, my fucking face. Yo. 
But do I even save the larynx for a boss fight? That's the question. I want to do that. Maybe your boss fight is hiding behind it. I don't think all of these paths that you find lead to something. I actually might be wrong on that. I think they always do lead to something. Like that is leading to a boss fight right now. It also looks like to be a double trouble unless it happens to be something from the old path. May just be great Gideon. And I'll be sad to see it happen. I'm also very low in health. There's health behind me. I should go and pick that up really quick before I go to the boss fight. Back to the flooded caves music. Such a good thing. I also really love the aesthetic of flooded caves. Looks even better with the repentance reflections techniques and the ripples on the floor. It's also very, very nice. The same with the fucking downpour. Downpour is beautiful. I love downpour so much. So, yeah. We'll head on down to wherever there is. I technically didn't go for the other item room in the last floor. But what does it matter? It's a fully charged larynx. It's great Gideon, I knew it! So this is gonna be useless to me. Unless... Boop, 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 beep, boop. We'll find out together. Ha! It was my, my mama hell. Mama boy. <laughs> oh god. Need to be careful how I'm speaking. I'm actually turn it down a little. Also, yeah, um, I think because of the nature of the special room chain, like, um... The stuff's char changing, and how things generate the red room in this challenge looks like there's no devil rings or anything to show up. That's understandable. Nothing that will truly be given to you at the time. Hmm. Who are these fellas? I got a scream! Massive scream! Although, that's gonna be the fucking shit, damn it. Alright, try again. One more try. That's all we get. Repent. I'm going this way. There's the, there's the downpour. And the aesthetic changes. Just a bit. It's very nice. Truly. Wait, is this the... <coughs> no, this can't be like the very edge of the side already. Because that's like that. Alright. There's a fucking curse room. It showed up. Also this. This is gonna do nothing. Because fucking they can't show up. And it really is the very side of a room. So that was very rude of this challenge, giving me this right off the bat, taking like half my health away. Very cool, gamers. At least it's health now. That was also very nice of it to do that. I remember like um in the Switch fire that I've been doing, it was actually very nice to me, the game. Because it gave me like delirium drops from after Mega Satan like twice. Like my first time getting down to there. It was very good. And now I'm stuck in this rut. Like I still need to do all the Mega Satans and all the many things. Some things I have been done. <laughs> I forgot about the Pandora's box unlock. Doing that in the dark room. That's what I need to do. But I need to actually play as Tim, uh, play as Lazarus to begin with. It's because of these challenges, man. All these challenges using tainted forms. I'm stuck with tainted on the mind. As well as that video I mentioned in the direct video that I've been writing. Hey, wait a minute! I saw that. Also, curse room. Damage. I like it. And it doesn't give health. Tainted. Tainted. Tainted, buddy. <laughs> yeah, sunny boy. It's a little bit of extra damage. I appreciate it, though. Go upwards. I found something. Petrified poop. It feels lucky. It's a freebie. It's a turtling. Oh man, now it's dross. I don't like dross nearly as much as downpour. Though I've said this before. Whoa, oh, hey. Whoa, oh, hey. I could have actually put on the mod as well. I forgot to turn back on the minimap mod. Because that might have helped a little bit with how this challenge looks oh well we don't need to risk seeing things crash now do we that's not a nice thing at all hello goodbye 
open here? Do I keep looking? I, I probably should keep looking for at least one item room. The where, though, is, is the question. Oh, hello. Mysterious paper. I mean, these things could still have health in them. Whilst I'm still in basement era stuff, I should at least break some shit open. In the hopes that some things show up to me. Wait, buddy. Might even help to keep a minimal map on for this challenge, or just keep it, like, low down. Oh, hello, library. I can't get any of you. Damn library. That was very rude. I can't get my favorite transformation to get, because it's very simple to do. Wow. A golden pill. Amnesia, I dare you. I'll make you larger. Infested paralysis, fuck. And it's all gone. Okay. Alright. I have a bunch of less health. Because I'm stupid. So there's a bunch of poop here, maybe. There you go. There you go. There you go, buddy. Some health for the fall. And I didn't even pick up the penny there. Oh well. I just keep trucking along. I'm running low on the red key uses. You actually d never run out of red key uses. I probably should have said that before. It just is infinite for the purpose of the challenge. But after the 20, there's going to be a dark easel. And then after every so often after that, there'll be more dark easels that show up. I don't know if there's a max cap. Though you can technically consider it how many rooms you actually open up on a floor. I don't know how maximum that can actually go. Brief intermission to explain a couple of things. Firstly, using the red key 20 times will spawn dark key saw, and every 5 times after that it will spawn more dark key saws. But if Jacob is in the lost form after touching one of these dark key saws, no more dark key saws will spawn. So it may be beneficial to just take the damage and then not have to worry about more dark e-saws by using the red key so often. Secondly, if Adam's soul is found and used, the red key will fully recharge, allowing infinite uses without having to worry about dark e -saw. So in that case, you can keep going and exploring the entire floor without needing to worry about taking slight damage to put you in a very vulnerable state. That's all that's needed to be said. Back to the video. That is how tall the map is, by the by. It's a very tall map. Where is... Damn! Oh look, it's all the keeper! Some cash! Funny cash! Oh look, and a golden penny too! Very neat. Can I go back to that shop and buy her something? Probably not. But I'll do it anyway. Nah, I'm not gonna run away back there. Like nothing. There's no real purpose to it. I'll just keep running around and do the thing. I also found out Whilst doing the switch file, just on the topic of seeing this, this golden penny, by the way, that, um, yeah, even before you have the unlock for um, Keeper to start with his extra coin heart, um, he can still get the extra coin heart if you find a health up item. Which is a very cool thing. Like, you have the two to start off with when you very first unlock Keeper. And you can get the three if you find a HP up item. And then when you actually have the unlock done, you can just start off with that amount of money on hand. It's just very convenient. I don't need to waste time. I don't think planetariums spawn here unless they're part of the red room stuff. I don't think they actually can show up and generate generate a thing. I can fix things in post. That's the wonderful thing about it. I can just remind myself, hey, you're wrong here! And this is how it actually works. But that's... I don't know. It's something. May it be or maybe not. Speed. And tear effects increase. I don't know who that shopkeeper was though. He looked very odd. Ouch as fuck, my friend. My guy, my dude. It wasn't very ouch of you. I mean, you can just like... I guess you can just skip floors by just opening up a path. And then doing that. Neat technique. I'm gonna do it. Especially after that happened. Getting addicted like that. I still need to do those um, challenges. There's a plenty of challenges I still need to do. I'm, I'm curious to see how well Ultra Hard will go for me. 
because that is, as it says on the tin, it is ultra hard, but there's more items in Repentance. I wonder if any of those items will help guide my way into making it easier. I started an Eden run the other day that gave me C-section. That run went all the way back to home and beat the beast. That was it. That's all that needed to be done. Just give me C-section. And there you go, that's a one run. And that how that run ended up happening. It's very good. Hmm. I really gotta find my way around here. I'm at the very edge! Probably shouldn't stay too much in the edge. Also be careful how you're actually moving around. Because some maneuvers may not be the most effective to do. Like this one probably isn't the greatest. Don't be rude to me like that game, please. Oh my god, oh shit! I see you, tiny boy. Is that the petrified poop? Maybe one of these could have a thing for me. Penny! Two pennies! Will we find out what's in the third one? Nothing! It was nothing at all. Now destroy them. Boss me at the time. Holy smokes. What makes you small? And then you! Cool! Southwards. Oh, that came just in time. Yay! Rainbow poop for the win. Maybe I'll find Bozo in the item room. Who knows? Uh, I'll try it this way. Not gonna work. You might want to try zigzagging. Zigzagging is a good way to actually get a bunch of possible rooms to open up for you. Because you get the chance to see what's on either side. Nice arcade and cool's gold. So I'll use that and then that should show off whether or not there's anything on either side of this. Oh my. How did I even dodge that? I, I got very good apparently. It also should be interesting to go back into Solid as a nine character. I am not looking forward to Tainted Apollyon, nor am I looking forward to Tainted Lazarus. Uh, Tainted Ease Jacob, I probably could do a lot better because it's not base game Tainted Jacob from back when it first released. He's not that rude. And it might just be a lot more fun knowing how Tainted Jacob functions. But, you know, like, I also still have to do the rest of Jacob and Esau. That's still a plenty of time. I need to get that red stew in Damocles, my friend. Those would be pretty good to find. Then also actually beat um, the beast and then do a mother run. Those may prove to be annoying. Those may also be very important. So there's some good shit, as previously stated, locked behind Jacob and Esau gotta actually get through and complete it. Oh my god. Damn the big ones! Oh no 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 no. My friend. Please. Oh please. It may even be better to... Oh hey, Monster Manuel. Manuel. I have a body! It's Seraphim! I'm fine with this revelation because it just is more power to me in some aspects. Hello, Mr. Esau. Nice to see you, Mr. E. Let's go this way and find a boss fight. Where are you, Mr. Boss Boss? It's not you, Larry Jr. You're not a boss fight that I want to fight right now. I could technically get a lot more, a lot more comfortable if I slap myself in the face. With J Dark Esau, but I don't actually think Dark, uh, Dark, uh, Dark uh, the Lost version of Tainted Jacob actually has any kind of uh, mantle. I don't think that's actually something that's given to him. Go, Manuel, Gemini. I think that was um, a thing I did in one of the challenges. I can't remember which one it was. It was one of the blindfolded challenges I did. 
And then I found Monster Manual and I thought, hey, that might give me some good items. I'll use that. And I did. And just murder NASA people. NASA people will forever be remembered as a mistake. Where is the boss fight? That's what I want to know. And that's what I want to find out. Might be around here. Might not be. More pills. Mystery! Mystery pills. Yay, that's a second Esau now. After not finding anything. Get that guy out of here. Ah. I mean, I don't think there'll be anything that way. Run back this way. And actually head upwards, I think. Because we have not gone upwards in the slightest. I mean, I technically have, but I've not actually teleported upwards. Hey, more Bibble! Satanic Bibble. I'm gonna take it, whatever. And once the Manuel's cool, I might also want the damage. But that gives me bookworm. Uh, yeah, actually, I do want damage, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Sorry, Manuel. My buddy. I don't wanna hold on to you. Just really have to find that boss fight now, don't I? Ouch! My face. This way! Up that way too. Cool. More resource! There's like three of them. My god, this is never ending. I'm gonna get hit one of these days. Though I do have a boss shredder. If I know how to use it. They burned the guy! And now I can only take one hit. Hey, buddy. Wanna wake up? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Damn it! I don't have the key anymore. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Thank you, wake me up. Thank you. Ooh, yee. Slow down and wake up. Wake up and smell reality. Become the one, the only. I found the funny. Some extra health for me. Uh, I don't want to go that way because there's nothing going that way. This way, to the left, to the left. I found a something. It's a something. Will it work? Pay attention to what's my surroundings. The map is getting a little bit too big. There is an upwards this way. Fight these dross creatures. No, actually, they're flooding cave creatures. No, not even in dross. Up here, there is a, a long room. I could just bomb my way through this wall, can't I? Though I don't want to do that. For some reason. Up here is a boss room. I can leave. I can leave after this. If I beat the boss, then I can beat the boss. That is going to be a beneficial thing to me. I am in panic mode because I'm in this form. I don't even think I was like this beforehand. But this is a status quo change. To be in this mode as soon as I enter whatever. Forsaken. Hello Forsaken. You want to have fun and hug my buddy Mr. Tainted Jacob? He's so dark. He's so buddy. Pal. Friend. There's a guy over here. He wants your true love. Hurrah. Jose. Uh, I'm just going to take that. It's free. Okay. <laughs> That's that. Two more floors to go. Let's find out how we do. Say you, your mama too. Take the damage. I only had the one. Straight off the bat, we have some fish shivers. And a big bug. A little big bug. Very little, very big. Murders. Murder is a thing to do. Still need to, like, do some things. Like, technically, I probably should be getting to finishing the current week's drawing this is only a few days after recording the direct by the way in case you didn't realize that but the current character that was rolled on the marker was Kyoko Kirigiri so I'm doing Kyoko Kirigiri and I actually colored a bunch of her in on the Monday the first day here because it's Tuesday now hello heretic and like the one thing I haven't done or oh, I've done a bunch of things with it so that's probably something I should be doing is finishing it because I finish it quickly then I can just go ahead and do more recording things like this and probably also edit together some goddamn audience people once but I've decided no I don't want to do that apparently so yeah, I have plenty of Kyoko left to draw, but it's still a good amount of Kyoko that I have drawn so far. It's looking okay. Much like with Kyo uh, Kamaru, which, by the way, if you haven't seen Kamaru, go look at it. And that's just gonna be it, because I'm bad at video games. That makes one 
last one last failure to mark on the on the on the on the on on the on the, on the, on the, on the chart. So that is a total of fifteen successful challenge beats. I haven't recorded the side story, but that's not counted anyway. With twenty nine failures, twenty nine failures and challenges. That is wild. We've gone through all of these. There's so many, so many things that we've done together. So many memories that we had, so many that we shared, and it's all over. Thank you very much for showing up. Yeah, thank you very much for showing up. Hang on, this isn't right.